Welcome to our comprehensive exploration of Pika Art, a cutting edge AI driven tool that's reshaping the landscape of video production. This innovative platform is not just another tool in the digital toolbox, it's a transformative force that's redefining the boundaries of video creativity. The excitement around Pika Art isn't just about its technological prowess. It's also about the vibrant community that sprung up around it. Content creators from diverse backgrounds have embraced this platform, leveraging its powerful AI capabilities to bring their unique visions to life. Forums, social media groups, and online workshops buzz with activity as users exchange tips, showcase their projects, and collaborate on new ideas. This community isn't just using a tool, they're driving forward the evolution of video production, making Pika Art a true game changer in the industry. Pika Art isn't just a video editing tool, it's an integrated platform that allows you to generate detailed videos using advanced AI algorithms. Whether you're turning text into video or enhancing existing footage, Pika Art makes complex video production accessible to all. It's made notable improvements in animation styles, particularly in producing high-quality Pixar and anime-style animations that resonate well with diverse audiences. It is excellent for creating vibrant landscapes and expressive character animations. Here are the five most useful tools that stand out for their ability to transform simple concepts into dynamic visual content. Number five. Pika Art's extensive camera motion controls allow users to create more dynamic videos. These settings help simulate sophisticated camera movements, such as panning, zooming, and rotating, which enhance the depth and engagement of the video content. This feature is invaluable for content creators looking to achieve a cinematic feel in their animations. Number 4. The lip sync feature in Pika Art is invaluable for enabling characters within videos to actually speak, rather than relying on voiceovers. This tool aligns characters' lip movements with the spoken audio, allowing the characters themselves to drive the narrative and tell the story. This shift from voiceover to character spoken audio deepens the engagement and enriches the storytelling experience, making interactions within the video feel more natural and connected. Number 3. The Expand Canvas tool in Pika Art is incredibly handy for adjusting the dimensions of videos to fit different social media platforms. This tool allows you to extend the visual boundaries of your videos, making it easier to tailor content specifically for the layout and viewing requirements of platforms like Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Number 2. With advanced video inpainting capabilities, Pika Art enables creators to seamlessly edit elements within their videos. This includes altering clothing or adding intricate decorations, which provides a high level of customization and is ideal for post-production adjustments and enhancements. Ugh, just pick one! And number one. Pika Art supports video upscaling to 2K resolution, significantly enhancing the visual clarity and detail of the videos. This feature makes the animations more appealing and professional, suitable for high-quality project outputs that demand superior visual fidelity. As Pika Art continues to evolve in the realm of AI-driven video production, it's important to acknowledge not only its capabilities, but also the challenges users face. From my own experiences, here's what stuck out as the top five issues. Number five. Every render from Pika Art automatically includes a slow zoom, whether you want it or not. There's no way to turn this off, which really messes with creating static video assets or precise visuals. This limitation significantly hinders the production of controlled and specific visual content. Trying to animate any sort of motion was a total nightmare. Whether it was characters walking, cars driving, or tanks advancing under heavy artillery, soldiers scrambling across the field, and aircraft dropping bombs overhead. Everything just turned into a chaotic mess. This was especially true when using the camera controls. Any camera moves usually turned everything into an unrecognizable jumble, rendering these tools ineffective for dynamic scenes. Number three, jittery animations. One of the most glaring problems was how Pika Art handled motion in videos. 
Animations were often jerky, blurry, and jittery, which was even more noticeable when there was minimal movement. This issue seriously detracted from the professional quality I was aiming for and proved to be a major drawback for any serious digital content creation. Number 2. Multiple trials for usable renders. Getting a decent render with Pika Art was challenging and usually required multiple attempts. Even simple animations needed several tries to get right, turning what I hoped would be a straightforward process into a significant time drain. This repetitive cycle of trial and error was frustrating, particularly since I expected faster and more efficient results from an AI-driven tool. And the number one issue for me, the pricing model. It gets expensive fast. Despite opting for what seemed like a reasonable $28 unlimited subscription, I burned through my allotted credits in just the first day. And even though it promised unlimited renders, I kept getting hit with prompts asking for more money every couple of minutes. This was especially annoying since most of the renders I got out of it were pretty much unusable. These issues really highlighted the challenges I faced with Picard Art, and I think they'd need to address these to really meet the needs of users like me. To achieve great results when using Pika Art for animations, here are the top 5 tips based on my experience. Number 5. The Modify Region tool is invaluable for making precise adjustments to specific areas of your video that may not have rendered as intended. Instead of re-rendering the entire clip, which often completely changes the animation, this tool allows for targeted corrections that save both time and resources. Number 4. The Expand Canvas tool is great for creating wider shots without the typical loss in quality seen in other AI video generators. However, be cautious, expanding too much too quickly can drastically alter your video's composition. Incremental adjustments are recommended to ensure enhancements truly improve your final product. Number 3. The guidance scale controls how strictly the AI adheres to your input prompts. Adjusting this scale is crucial in striking the right balance between creative freedom and the AI's interpretative contributions. It ensures that the AI enhances your vision without straying from your intended direction. Number 2. Negative prompts are essential for eliminating unwanted elements from your animations, refining the AI's outputs to better align with your creative vision. This helps prevent common issues such as irrelevant objects or actions appearing in your video, which can distract from the main content. And the number 1. Leverage high-quality base and cinematic images. Although Pika Art degrades any images you give it, high-resolution and cinematic images provide a better foundation for the AI to build upon, enhancing the clarity and impact of your animations. This approach will help ensure that your final product is polished and more professional. As we've seen, Pika Art is at the forefront of AI-driven video production, providing tools that empower creators to bring their visions to life with ease and efficiency. It's an exciting time to explore what AI can do in the creative world. If you've used Pika Art in your projects, we'd love to hear about your experiences. Share your stories in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more updates on AI tools and digital creativity.